In this video, we will demonstrate the digital continuity between design and simulation in the 3D experience platform on a bridge by reusing the deck engineering template done in a previous tutorial containing simulation preparation data such as shape abstraction and finite element meshes. This is based on the civil engineering role CIENC, the structural analysis engineering role SYE, and SVT for some compute token pack. We are starting with an alignment and a terrain as input. Two points have been defined and typed as a start of bridge and start of ground, understanding end of bridge. And we launch the bridge design assistant to create our bridge. By clicking the alignment as first input, terrain and the start and end bridge typed points are automatically retrieved. The position of the peers can be edited. Here, I will move manually the position of two peers. I will define an isostatic bridge to generate four decks. I will leave the bridge parameters as set by default. Finally, I assign the templates I want to use to design my bridge and use the template deck for girders created in a previous tutorial. Now, the low level of detail templates, we call that user defined features, are instantiated with the process button. I will change the level of development of the decks to switch automatically to a more detailed representation with multiple objects and simulation preparation data. As you can notice, engineering templates have been instantiated with an abstraction shape containing mid-surfaces and finite elements meshes, updated as per my current bridge configuration. Now that the bridge has been defined by the designer, I will put on my analyst hat to directly consume the design data to perform an analysis on my bridge deck. I will create a new finite element shape to assemble all the deck meshes together. The design data contributing to this finite element shape will be the deck abstraction shapes. The contributing meshes are the ones from the four different decks and are already automatically identified. I just have to select the one I want to use. Now, I will create my simulation scenario using the Mechanical Scenario Creation app. Note that my data has been filtered to show only the relevant information, but I am still working with the designer data and only switching from one design application to a simulation application. I want to perform a structural analysis and reuse the finite element shape I just created. I define a basic static step and change the time increment to 0.1 second. I define a basic clamp restraint on the extremities of the girders by picking the node groups created in a template. The clamps are identified by a sphere. Then I define a basic gravity load. Of course, more complex load cases could be applied but I will keep it simple for this demonstration. Now I can first check if my setup is correct. Then I can launch the simulation that will run for a couple of minutes. Once the analysis is done, I have access to several plots to display constraints, deformation and displacements. I can change the scale if the displacements are too small to be properly seen on my screen. So, we have seen that within the 3D experience platform, we have the capability to perform simulation directly on the design data. If the design is modified, I will just need to update my simulation instead of redrawing all the previous steps. This will allow me to perform a lot of iterations by playing with the design parameters to converge to the best robust and economic bridge design. 